welcome to each topic in this video i am going to explain you the question number 5 of chapter 8 that is pointers in c the question is write a c program to dynamically allocate memory for an array to store 10 integers and display the first out of them so to write the program first we will write the required header file first we will add stdio dot h and we need one more header file that is stdlib means standard library so include stdlib dot h after that we will write a main function int main and after the main function we will take the variable we will take one integer pointer so int and to declare a pointer variable star ptr and we will take a variable n which will define as 10 because we need to store 10 integers inside the array that's why n equal 10 and one more for loop that is we we'll, are going to use for index i now we will Def, uh, allocate memory for the pointer as we'll write this one ptr equal the pointer is integer set type so int and star and after that we'll allocate memory so for that malloc function m a double l o c and inside bracket we'll write the size of the integer so we'll write our we need uh, 10 integer space so we will write 10 into size of we need integer variable so int then it's semicolon now we are going to accept the input for the array so we will write for loop for i equal 0 as we do in array that only i less than n and i plus plus and inside it we are going to write printf statement and printf statement inside we will write enter element percent d and this d will be available in variable i now we will scan the number to the pointer so scan it and here we will write percent d because we are accepting integers and we will store it inside the pointer so we will write ptr plus i ptr our pointer name is point, uh, ptr so ptr plus i at first ptr will be whatever memory location date only so it will be the same number as we are not writing here star so we will directly get the value so at first it will be same because plus 0 then plus 1 then the number will increase the address will be plus 1 then we can store a different number there so let's do it now again another for loop to display the first element of the array so we can write a printf statement here and we can write here like uh, the first five element of the area so we'll write this one and uh, again for loop four here we'll write i equal zero now as we need five numbers so i less than five and i plus plus and inside the loop we are going to display the value of the pointer so pt sorry printf here we are going to display integer so percent d and we can give one space after that the location of this variable will be star ptr then we'll write inside bracket ptr plus i ptr plus i then bracket print f1 bracket close and semicolon and we'll come out from the loop and we'll this right return o it's done now we have to run the program 
we have to first compile the program if there is no mistake then definitely we will get the output so for that we can press f5 key on from the keyboard so we'll or we can also go to build and build and run there is some mistake let's find out the mistake ptr undeclared Oh, I have written the spelling wrong. It should be PTR, not PRT. PTR. Now we'll run the program, build and run. So asking me to enter the element zero. As you can see here, zero with directly cursor, it's look little odd. So we are going to do little bit modify. After percent, if we'll give a colon sign, then one space. Now let's build and run again. Now asking me to enter the element zero, it's suppose 8 then 1 7 we'll put some random numbers and this is the last element as 6 now it's saying uh, that first five element of the array are 8 7 4 3 9 you can see here 8 7 4 3 9 these are the first five element of the array so this way we can solve the question number 5 of the chapter 8 that is pointers in C now we'll move to the next question that is a uh, write a C program to dynamically allocate the memory for an array to store the run scored by Virat Kohli in the last 10 ODI cricket matches write a function to find the maximum one now let's do it First, we'll take the uh, save the file, Control S, and we'll give the name as suppose it's question six, so Q six. Oh, sorry, S Control uh, it saves as HTML file, so file save as question six and dot C. Now we are going to write the required header file, include pass stdio dot h then include there will add std lib dot h after that will also will need the array and uh, the size of the array we can take it as a global variable also we can take it main function set the main function let's do it as a global variable so we'll write int and star if we write star before the variable name, name then we'll know that it is an array oh sorry it is a pointer score this is an pointer that will point to the score variable and n equal 10 because 10 matches details we need and we'll also need one function to find out the max score so we'll write max then s c o r e max score and here we are not accepting any arguments because our very uh, variables are available globally so we don't need any arguments now we'll write the main function int main and inside the main function we will write two variables int i that is for index max variable to score the maximum marks of virat kohli maximum score of the uh, of virat kohli now we'll Define the score as score equal. We will write it here as the array of integer type int, then star, and after that we'll allocate memory. So malloc, then as our number of matches n, so n into 
then size of int after that semicolon memory allo allocation done for the array now we are going to write for loop for and as earlier i equal 0 i will be less than n and i plus plus after that we will write printf enter percentage d max score and uh, we'll give one space here and the in place of d we are going to display i plus 1 that means 0 plus 1 it will be 1 the first line will be like that enter first match score and we also have to scan the number so scan f there as we are in uh, accepting integers of percent d and uh, we are going to store it inside score variable which is a pointer so we are writing score and plus i that we can keep inside a bracket without bracket also we can write so as you want if you want the bracket you can give or otherwise you can directly write score plus i now that is done we'll accept the scores from this way and before the for loop we can also write one printf statement so that it look little in standard program here we are going to write enter the score of virat kohli in the last 10 ODI after that slash n to go to the next line and semicolon now this one for accepting the input now we have to also find out the maximum mark so we'll write max equal we'll call the function that is max score we are calling the function as uh, our variable is global so we are not passing any parameter parameters now we just have to display the value of max so we are writing printf, st printf uh, statement here maximum score percent d and uh, it will be available in variable max semicolon at last return 0 or main function done after writing the main function we are going to define we are going to write the definition of max score so we will write ma first uh, the return type is void or return type is so not void int our program is returning something but just there is no parameters so remember this and the function name is max then score and we are not accepting any parameters so brackets is, are empty and here we'll write int i this is for index because we are going to loop to find out the maximum and we can also use one variable as m maximum mark that means and we'll take it as a score means the first uh, in element of that array will be the maximum score we'll assume it as and after that we are going to compare it with another scores and if it is uh, greater than that we'll replace it so we are writing here m equal score now we were going to use for loop for i equal 0 i less than n i plus plus and inside for loop we are going to write again condition if star then inside bracket score plus i means at first we will get the first element because i is 0 next time there will be plus 1 means uh, 1 index will increase so we will get the next element of the array 
that's how we'll compare it with the m variable greater than m then we will write m equal star then score plus 1 oh sorry not plus 1 plus i and at last will return will come out from the loop after the for loop will return the value of m return m now let's run the program for that fun uh, f5 there is some mistake in my laptop so it does not work properly leave it build build and run it's asking me to enter the first match score suppose it is 50 second match 54 third match 78 then 99 then 105 then again 43 then match 7 21 suppose match 8 he run out in the zero line and uh, it's 67 and this 11 now we should get the maximum score is 105 as we wrote the function like that way only let's see so the answer came maximum score equal 105 so this way we can solve the question number six you can see the codes of the program from here let's me remove the log form so this one these two are header file which are necessary this is uh, we are already using only an std lib this one is a new header file that we need when we are going to use malloc function and here we took the pointer and the size of the pointer as global variable means outside the bracket so that we can access it from main function also and max score function also after that inside the main function we are accepting the input to the array and we call the function max score and just print uh, display the value of the max and in max score function here we have just uh, defined the maximum marks as the first number of the array means the first position of the score pointer and after that we are comparing it with the next one and if it is greater then we are replacing it and we are returning the value of n m so this way we are we did the question number six and uh, the question number five i am again showing you people so this is a very short one here just we declared a uh, integer pointer and we as we have to collect 10 numbers so and we are writing without defining n also we can do the program but just if you want to make it dynamic then just you can take the uh, accept input from the user of n and it will be dynamic one and after that uh, we are accepting the input to the array and we are displaying this five element as we are displaying five element so in there in for loop we are writing i less than five so this way we can do question number five and six of chapter eight array and the remaining answers uh, we'll discuss in next video. Thank you for watching. See you in a new video. Till then, take care and bye.